Joe has three offers on the table. Any interest in selling the entire business today? Not for $2 million. One is the largest sum of money offered in Shark Tank history. Would you go to $4 million? Um, I would consider taking the very first deal you were offered. You own 80% of the company. We only get 20, all right? We're not pigs. We're sharks. We just want our money back. Is, 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 is that your final offer? But think about it. We're leaving you with 80% of the upside. Well, I understand that. So I you're going to make a lot that. more than $4 million down the road with us as partners. Well, I understand that. I understand that. I, that's why I, I, I haven't said yes. That's why I'm... Joe, are you going to sell this business today or not? Possibly. Very possibly. I bel believe that um, the $4 million is a little low, but I think we're very close. Um, I think if you went to five million dollars and 15 percent and whether you want me as an employee which I would really like to, to do as an employee contract because I want my royalty to be as much as I can. I can get my mind around the four. I can't go up to the five. So I'm out. Dang. Listen, would you excuse us for a moment? Okay. So you listen, it's a very simple discussion amongst us. Very often, the best strategy is to take a competitor like you, even though sometimes I find you distasteful. I say bring him into the deal at our price. Get him back out of this. What do you think, DJ? Uh, but we need to go up on the equity. You guys want to 20%. That's interesting. Fine, well, bring no. him in for a third and go up to 25%. Well, no, no, I, I think you gave away the farm. You, you, it was so unkevin like when you said 15% only until we get our money back. Once we bring Damon into our tent, we, and we're the only offer left, we can change our deal. So what do you want to do? Okay, before you say anything, you know, the currents constantly change in the rough waters of the Shark Tank. That's why I love this place. Your enemies become your friends, your friends are, become your enemies. And sometimes they bite you in the hiney and sometimes they don't. So what's happened is Damon has decided to join Mark and I into one offer. Now, it's great news for you because there's going to be more money. But I'm going to let my partner, Mark, explain exactly how great it is for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is raise our offer to $750,000, and then we're gonna ask for 30% of the company and a 10% perpetual royalty. That's our offer. Um, I would consider your offer. I would, the only thing I would ask you to do is if you go to 1.2 million for the simple reason, that will give me enough to fill my first order. We don't have to do that because if we own a piece of the company, we're your partners and we have to finance it, but we don't have to pay for it right now. If you need more money to fund new orders and grow the company, you think we're going to let our equity disappear because we couldn't fund a new order? Of course not. So you get us without giving up any more equity with this deal. Don't sell yourself short. Joe, listen. Joe, you got to say yes or no. Life is like business. It's 20% what happens to you and 80% how you respond. You have a moment right now to take this deal. Will you take it? Does it come with season tickets? Absolutely. <laughs> then you got a deal. Amen. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm looking forward to working together. Absolutely. Thank you. Good job, Joe. Thank you. Great job. Season Pleasure season? meeting you. Think about that. That's remarkable. I just offered a guy four million dollars, which is about as high. But that's as the I beauty of the show. This guy we've never seen before walked in and had the choice to be a millionaire. And he stuck with and it. And he stuck to his guns, and he believed in himself. And that's what makes this country I, great. I feel warm and fuzzy. I just made some money. I would have to say to turn down $4 million was probably something I never thought I'd say I did. It was something I never thought I'd do. But at the same time, at the end of the day, I still got three quarters of a million dollars, and I still own 70% of the next biggest thing that this world's ever seen.